Tuberculosis, a disease that's highly treatable with antibiotics, kills nearly three million people every year. Most of them are in sub-Saharan Africa, where the disease commonly preys on people infected by HIV. A major problem in the war on TB is diagnosing it quickly. The bacterium that causes it is very hard to detect in mucus samples under the microscope, and it can take weeks or even months to culture sputum to look for the growing bacterium. In Tanzania, scientists have come up with a novel solution for diagnosing TB, giant African pouched rats which are endemic to the region. At a medical research facility called Apopo, researchers have already taught the rats to search for unexploded landmines buried after years of civil war in neighboring countries. Now scientists have trained the sniffer rats to detect the odor of the TB bacterium in mucus samples. The rodents walk along a narrow stainless steel cage, sticking their snouts into holes in the bottom that hold sputum samples. They've been trained to stop when they sniff a sample that may be positive for TB. When they find one, they're rewarded with a favorite food, banana. To see which is more accurate, the rat's noses or a lab technician armed with a microscope, the rodents sniff 10,000 sputum samples that had already been analyzed by a technician. The technicians found about 1,300 cases of TB. The rats found those and 620 more, an improvement of about 44 percent. The study was led by psychology professor Alan Poling of Western Michigan University, who says the rats are very quick. They can uh, test hundreds of samples a day, and a microscopist can uh, evaluate far fewer. So speed is really the big advantage. Uh, accuracy, uh, maybe, we believe uh, they may be more accurate than uh, microscopists. We're fairly sure of that, but, but I don't want to uh, emphasize that unduly because we, we need more data. The study was published in December's issue of the American Journal of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene. That organization's president, Peter Hotez of George Washington University in Washington, calls it fascinating, but says he doubts using rats to diagnose TB would be very practical. The fact that there's no easy mechanism for maintaining these rats in, in a large number of different laboratories, it's still somewhat time consuming. Hotez says that the developing world really needs more accurate diagnostics, like a rapid TB test recently endorsed by the World Health Organization. What's nice about it is it can give, it's got a high sensitivity, a high specificity, and can give you the answer in an hour and a half. Meanwhile, work at Apopo continues. The nonprofit organization offers an Adopt a Rat program to help fund its work of sniffing out TB and landmines. Jessica Berman, VOA News, Washington.